Hi everybody, my name is Rich Maxwell and thanks for watching Shallow Hooker. Um, in this video, I want to talk to you about an experience we had over the weekend. Um, my brother and I were out fishing and as we were driving along in the intercoastal, uh, my GPS here had just shut off. And there was the wiring that was connected to the bus bar is starting to corrode. Um, the boat is now five years old and unfortunately this particular area is pretty wet. So in this video, I want to talk to you and show you what I'm going to do to replace the bus bar, the existing bus bar in this boat. I decided on the Blue Sea Systems product and this one particular one has six circuits and a cover and a negative bus bar. This particular bus bar has a cover, unlike the one that's in the boat. So it should give it some kind of protection. And secondly, all the terminals are stainless steel, not brass, like the existing one in this boat. They decided that they wanted to use this type of bus bar. And as you can see, what happened here is that the bus bar actually broke and now is dangling. And the other reason um, that I need to replace this is that it's not protected. If you noticed that some of the connectors are starting to tarnish, they're starting to corrode. Uh, so we're actually starting to have these bad connections, uh, which is actually causing my GPS to actually blink out every time I hit a boat week. All right, so first thing we gotta do, we have to identify which wires are the grounds, which wires are the positive wires. Uh, the easiest way to do it is to actually to use a test light. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hook the, this end to the negative side of my battery cable. Next time and I'm going to start probing around seeing which one is my positive wire or which one is my hot wire that I need to install to my new fuse holder. So this one here, that one is hot. Light illuminates. This one is not and this one does not. So what I also found out is that this particular terminal right here is my positive feed to this little bus bar here. And this is what I need to install to the positive side on my fuse holder. This particular one here is actually my negative, which is actually jumped off the negative bus bar that is broken. So the first thing I have to do is take all these female connectors and transfer them over to eye connectors. So I went ahead and I cut all the old terminals off the uh, off the bus bar and I went ahead and I installed the eyelets. Uh, I did use the heat shrink eyelets. Uh, I do believe they actually add a little more protection for the wire, uh, especially in this particular environment where I have the live well here and the recirculating pump there. I know there's definitely some moisture that stays in this area as you can see. So now I'm just going to go ahead and look at which wires are for the negative side I'm going to go ahead and separate those and which ones are for the positive side now all the black wires here are the negative and there's quite a bit of them um, with only six uh, screws um, I'm gonna to have to unfortunately double on top of them which is no big no big thing uh, they're still gonna get a great connection uh, definitely a lot better than what I used to have in the boat and then the positive wire this is a Definitely a smaller gauge wire is going to go to the, actually this particular terminal here. I'm not powering, powering anything up that's going to actually draw any more than 5 amps. Uh, so this wire is, uh, is, is okay. 
Um, if I am going to add anything down a road, uh, I'm definitely going to have to upgrade the gauge of this wire to probably a, a 10 gauge wire. And I'm going to, and if I actually do that in the future, which I am looking at installing some underwater lights um, for this particular boat, um, I probably will definitely have to upgrade the gauge wire for this bus bar. Um, but that might come in another video. I have the fuse block installed now. Um, I have all my grounding wires on the ground block bus bar, and I have my GPS installed on the one positive terminal with a seven and a half amp fuse. Uh, I have my positive lead onto the positive post, and all I gotta do now is turn the battery on and put the cover on and make sure the GPS now turns on and stays on when I'm using it. 